In a realm veiled by mists of time and shrouded in the whispers of forgotten gods, there existed a kingdom known as Eldoria. It was a place of enigmatic beauty where the land itself pulsed with ancient magic and the stars told stories of the beginning of all things. This kingdom was home to myriad creatures, both wondrous and fearsome, and among them lived the people of Eldoria, their lives intertwined with the arcane forces that wove through their world. At the heart of Eldoria stood the Tower of Echoes, a spire of obsidian that reached towards the heavens, its surface reflecting the ever-changing skies. The tower was older than memory, its origin lost to the annals of time, and it was said to house the Echoes of Eternity, a collection of powerful artifacts that held the essence of the cosmos. The guardianship of the Tower of Echoes was a duty passed down through the royal bloodline, and the current keeper was a queen known as Lyriana. She was a ruler of unparalleled wisdom and strength, her reign marked by a time of peace and prosperity. But as all who are wise know, peace can be fleeting, and darkness often lurks just beyond the light. It came to pass that on the eve of the celestial alignment, a phenomenon that occurred once every thousand years, a shadow fell upon Eldoria. The skies darkened, the stars dimmed, and a silence so profound enveloped the kingdom that even the wind dared not stir. From the void emerged a figure, a sorcerer named Malachar, whose heart had been corrupted by a thirst for power and dominion. He had discovered a forgotten lore, a way to breach the Tower of Echoes and claim the Echoes of Eternity for himself. With these artifacts, he could bend reality to his will and become a god among mortals. Queen Lyriana was not blind to the threat that Malachar posed. She gathered her council, a group of the realm's most powerful mages and warriors, and devised a plan to protect the tower and the kingdom. The celestial alignment was approaching, and with it, the moment when the tower's defenses would be most vulnerable. As the alignment drew near, Malachar began his assault. The skies erupted with storms of fire and lightning, the earth shook, and the seas raged. The sorcerer's power was immense, but so was the resolve of Eldoria's people. Lyriana led the defense, her own magic a radiant force that countered Malachar's darkness. The battle was fierce, with neither side yielding, the very fate of the cosmos hanging in the balance. Amidst the chaos, a young mage named Aelwyn emerged as an unexpected beacon of hope. She was a prodigy, her affinity for the ancient magics surpassing that of mages thrice her age. Aelwyn had discovered a secret within the history of the tower, a forgotten spell that could amplify the power of the echoes and turn Malachar's own strength against him. With Lyriana's blessing, Aelwyn embarked on a perilous journey to the heart of the Tower of Echoes. She navigated the arcane wards and traps that protected the Echoes, her determination unwavering. As she reached the chamber where the artifacts were housed, she could feel the power coursing through the air, a symphony of primordial forces. Aelwyn began the incantation, her voice intertwining with the whispers of eternity. The artifacts responded, their light pulsing to the rhythm of her spell. Outside, the battle raged on, the kingdom's defenders holding the line against Malachar's relentless onslaught. As Aelwyn reached the climax of the spell, a brilliant light engulfed the tower. The echoes of eternity resonated with her magic, and a shockwave of pure energy surged forth, washing over the kingdom. Malachar, caught in the tide of power, found himself overwhelmed. His dark ambitions crumbled as the magic he sought to control turned on him, his dreams of godhood slipping through his fingers like sand. With a final scream of rage and defeat, the sorcerer was no more, his essence scattered to the winds. The skies cleared, the stars shone brightly once more, and peace returned to Eldoria. Aelwyn emerged from the tower, her strength spent but her spirit unbroken. She had saved the kingdom and proven that even the humblest among them could change the course of destiny. Queen Lyriana embraced Aelwyn, her pride in the young mage evident to all. The kingdom celebrated their victory, their songs and laughter echoing through the halls of time. Eldoria had been tested, but it had endured, its people united by their courage and their unyielding spirit. And so, the tale of the Tower of Echoes and the Celestial Alignment became legend, a story to inspire and to remind the people of Eldoria that even in the face of darkness, there is always light to be found. As the celebrations of their victory faded into cherished memory, the people of Eldoria returned to their daily lives, their spirits lifted by the knowledge that their kingdom had withstood the darkness once again. Queen Lyriana, ever vigilant, knew that the peace they had fought for must be safeguarded with wisdom and foresight. Aelwyn, now revered as the savior of the Echoes, found herself at a crossroads. Her bravery and skill had revealed a path she had not foreseen, one that led her deeper into the mysteries of the ancient magics that flowed through Eldoria. The young mage felt a calling, a whisper from the very essence of the land, urging her to embark on a journey of discovery. With Queen Lyriana's blessing, Aelwyn set out from the Tower of Echoes, her quest to unearth the secrets of Eldoria's past and to ensure the future of her people.
Her travels took her beyond the borders of the kingdom into the uncharted wilds where the veils between worlds were thin and the remnants of the old gods still lingered. In the twilight forests of Eldoria where the trees sang with the voices of the ancients, Aelwyn encountered the guardians of the veil, ethereal beings tasked with maintaining the balance between the realms. They spoke to her of a coming convergence, a time when the boundaries of existence would blur and the potential for both creation and destruction would be boundless. Aelwyn listened with an open heart, her mind weaving the threads of possibility. She knew that the knowledge of the Guardians would be crucial in the times to come, and so she pledged to serve as a bridge between them and the people of Eldoria, a keeper of the balance. Her journey continued, leading her to the crystal caverns where the memories of the earth were etched into the very stones. Here, Aelwyn communed with the spirit of the land, and in its depths, she found the heart of Eldoria, a crystal of purest light, the source of the kingdom's magic. The heart spoke to Aelwyn of a time long forgotten when the gods walked among mortals and the fabric of reality was woven with their desires and dreams. It told her of the echoes of eternity, fragments of the gods' power left behind when they departed the mortal realm. With a newfound understanding of her kingdom's history and the power that lay within it, Aelwyn returned to the Tower of Echoes, her spirit alight with purpose. She shared her discoveries with Queen Lyriana, and together they began to prepare for the convergence the Guardians had foretold. As the celestial bodies aligned, the air thrummed with energy, and the people of Eldoria gathered to witness the convergence. Aelwyn stood at the heart of the Tower, the echoes of eternity resonating around her, the heart of Eldoria cradled in her hands. She began to chant, her voice a harmony with the Song of the Stars. The magic of the kingdom rose to meet her call, a tapestry of light weaving through the night. The boundaries between worlds shimmered, and for a moment, the veil was lifted, revealing the infinite expanse of creation. In that moment of perfect clarity, Aelwyn saw the myriad paths of destiny that lay before Eldoria. She saw the challenges and wonders that awaited her people, and she knew that their journey was only just beginning. With a final note that echoed through time, Aelwyn sealed the convergence, the veil returning to its place, the realms once more distinct. But the connection had been made, the balance kept, and the future of Eldoria assured. The kingdom rejoiced, their faith in Aelwyn and Queen Lyriana unshaken. They knew that as long as the echoes of eternity resounded through the tower, as long as the heart of Eldoria beat within the land, their home would remain a beacon of hope and magic in a world of endless possibilities. And so, the tale of Aelwyn, the Tower of Echoes, and the Heart of Eldoria was woven into the fabric of the stars, a legend of a kingdom that stood at the crossroads of destiny, its people the keepers of an ancient legacy that would endure for eons to come. The days following the convergence were a time of reflection and renewal in Eldoria. Aelwyn, having returned the Heart of Eldoria to its resting place within the Crystal Caverns, spent her days studying the ancient texts and artifacts within the Tower of Echoes. Queen Lyriana, ever the wise sovereign, began to lay the foundations for a new order of mages, one that would ensure the knowledge and protection of the realm's magic for generations to come. But as the seasons turned, a subtle change began to sweep across the land. Whispers of a hidden threat, a creeping malaise that tainted the edges of the kingdom, reached the ears of the queen. Reports from the borderlands spoke of a darkness that withered crops, poisoned waters, and drove wildlife into madness. It seemed a new shadow sought to claim Eldoria, its nature and origin a mystery. Lyriana convened her council, and together with Aelwyn, they pored over maps and scrolls, seeking any clue that might reveal the source of this blight. It became clear that the convergence, while a marvel of celestial harmony, had also thinned the barriers to realms best left untouched. A rift had formed, a breach through which something ancient and malevolent had slipped into Eldoria. Determined to protect her kingdom, Lyriana decreed that a fellowship be formed to seek out and close the rift. Aelwyn was chosen to lead this quest, joined by the most valiant knights and the most astute scholars of the realm. Among them was Sir Caelan, a knight of unmatched valor, Valtor, a mage whose knowledge of the arcane was second only to Aelwyn, and Lysara, a ranger whose bond with the creatures of Eldoria was profound. The fellowship set out under a sky tinged with the light of twin moons, their path leading them towards the Whispering Thicket, a dense forest where the veil between worlds was said to be at its thinnest. The journey was fraught with peril as the Blight's influence grew stronger, twisting the very fabric of the land into a grotesque parody of its former glory. In the heart of the Whispering Thicket, they found the rift, a jagged tear in the air that pulsed with a sickly light. From within its depths, they could hear the echoes of a realm not meant for mortal senses, a cacophony of whispers that clawed at the mind. Valor and Aelwyn combined their magic, weaving a lattice of spells to contain the rift's influence. 
Sir Kalen and Lasara stood guard, their blades and bows fending off the twisted creatures that emerged from the tear, seeking to spread the blight further into Eldoria. The battle raged, the air alive with the clash of steel and the roar of spells. Aelwyn, her focus unwavering, channeled the power of the echoes of eternity, her voice rising above the din of combat. The artifacts responded, their light converging on the rift, sealing it with a thunderous crash that shook the forest to its roots. As the dust settled and the light dimmed, the Fellowship found themselves standing in a glade untouched by the blight, the rift sealed and the threat to Eldoria averted. The land began to heal, the natural order restoring itself with each passing day. The Fellowship returned to the kingdom as heroes, their deeds celebrated in song and story. Queen Lyriana welcomed them with open arms, her heart full of gratitude for their bravery and sacrifice. Aelwyn, her power and wisdom now recognized by all, took her place as the head of the new order of mages dedicated to guarding against the darkness that lay beyond the stars. Eldoria had faced its trials and emerged stronger, its people united by a common cause and a shared destiny. The kingdom prospered, its magic flourishing under the careful stewardship of its protectors. And while the peace that followed was cherished, the wise knew that vigilance was the price of freedom. The realm of Eldoria, a jewel among the cosmos, would always be a beacon for those who sought to harness its power. But with champions like Aelwyn and her companions, the kingdom would stand resolute, a testament to the enduring spirit of its people and the unbreakable bonds that held them together. As the seasons turned and the memory of the rift's darkness grew dim, the people of Eldoria embraced the time of tranquility that followed. The kingdom flourished under the watchful eyes of its guardians and the new order of mages, led by Aelwyn, became a pillar of wisdom and strength. But in a world as steeped in magic as Eldoria, peace was a delicate tapestry easily unraveled by the claws of the unknown. A new chapter in Eldoria's story was about to unfold, one that would take Aelwyn and her companions beyond the boundaries of their land into the realms of the celestial seas above. It began with a star, a pulsing beacon of light that appeared in the skies one fateful night, its radiance unlike any celestial body known to the scholars of Eldoria. This star did not abide by the laws of the heavens, it moved erratically, its course unpredictable and its purpose unclear. Queen Lyriana, ever watchful for signs of change, summoned Aelwyn to the Tower of Echoes. Together, they observed the star, consulting ancient charts and divinations to discern its meaning. It was not long before they realized that the star was a harbinger, a messenger from the distant reaches of the cosmos. The star's erratic journey across the sky was a signal, a call to the guardians of Eldoria. It beckoned them to embark on a voyage unlike any before, a journey to the very star itself. The echoes of eternity, the artifacts within the Tower of Echoes, hummed with a resonance that confirmed the queen's intuition. Eldoria was being summoned. With the kingdom's finest ship, the Celestial Gale, prepared for the voyage, Aelwyn and her companions gathered once more. Sir Kalen, Val Tor, Lysara, and a crew of Eldoria's bravest sailors set sail into the celestial seas, guided by the enigmatic star. The journey was arduous, fraught with storms of cosmic energy and encounters with creatures of the void. Yet, with Aelwyn's mastery of the echoes, they navigated the treacherous expanses between worlds, drawing ever closer to the star's call. As they neared their destination, the star revealed its true nature. It was not a star at all, but a nexus of converging ley lines, the lifeblood of the cosmos, a place where the fabric of reality was woven from the threads of countless worlds. The nexus pulsed with power, its core a prism of pure magic that reflected the infinite possibilities of creation. It was here that Aelwyn and her companions discovered the remnants of a lost civilization, a people who had once harnessed the power of the ley lines but had fallen to ruin when they sought to control it. Amid the ruins of this ancient world, a guardian awaited them, a being of light and wisdom who had watched over the nexus for eons. The guardian spoke of a cycle, a pattern of rise and fall that repeated across the cosmos of civilizations that reached for the heights of power only to be undone by their own ambition. Eldoria, the guardian warned, stood at the precipice of the cycle. The kingdom's deep connection to the magic of the land and the stars was a rare gift, but it also bore the seeds of its potential downfall. The balance that Aelwyn and her order had fought to maintain was more crucial than ever. With the Guardian's counsel and a trove of knowledge from the Nexus, Aelwyn and her fellowship returned to Eldoria. Their voyage had been one of discovery and warning, and they knew that the lessons learned at the Nexus would shape the future of their kingdom. Under Aelwyn's guidance, Eldoria entered an age of enlightenment where the pursuit of knowledge was balanced with the wisdom of restraint. The kingdom became a beacon of hope, not just for its people, but for all the realms that touched the ley lines of the cosmos. 
And though the stars would continue to turn and the cycle of the ages would roll on, Eldoria stood as a testament to the power of unity and the enduring light of the human spirit. Aelwyn, once a humble mage, had become a legend, her name whispered in the winds of the world as a keeper of balance, a guardian of the nexus, and a daughter of the stars.